Hi, my name is Katanya James, and I'm the Study Abroad Advisor here at Purchase College. I work in the Office of International Programs and Services. This summer, we have a program to Prague, and I'm here with the professor coordinating it, Professor Lenka Pichnikova. Hi, Lenka. Hello. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. So um, please introduce yourself and talk a little bit about the course. Well, I'm a professor at SUNY Purchase here mm -hmm. at the college. For many years, I teach acting and dramatic literature. Nice. So how did you come up with the idea of the course in the Czech Republic? Well, as you can hear from my name, um, I was born in Prague in the Czech Republic. Prague is capital of the country. And uh, of course, I will be speaking there my language, which is very helpful to the students. And of course, I love theater and I have great respect for political philosophy. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's very interesting. Thank you for those points. Um, is the course specifically for actors or is it open for anyone to come? This course is open for anyone greatly interested in these topics, meaning the theater, uh, political philosophy, uh, political science, also history. So it's for anybody starting theater and performance uh, students who will be acting actually at the end of the program in a play by Václav Havel. So the focus is on legacy of this wonderful playwright who started as a stagehand in the theater and end up as a president of uh, Czechoslovakia and consequently president of the first independent Czech Republic. So it's a very interesting course, uh, capturing not only uh, theater, but also a lot of incredible history, meaning time during communism, communist era, because of course Václav Havel became also a dissident. At first he was a famous playwright, then became dissident, and then he became a political person. Okay, great points. So what would you say to a student who is interested, but they're thinking, oh, I'm an actor, or I get stage fright, what would you, how would you, or what would you tell them? Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, this whole course is designed actually, or tailored uh, for the students with their specific talents and interests. So if we have an actor in the course, the actor will memorize at the end his or her part and perform in the play. But if we have somebody who is interested in history, history major, then the person will be led to Václav Havel Library, where there will be a terrific, wonderful archives available for these students. So they could do research and then perhaps write a final paper, which they will be sharing with us during the last session. Then if we have somebody who is interested in journalism or political science, again, there is a plenty to research and write about. Okay. We will be visiting mm -hmm. a museum of communism. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be visiting all kinds of wonderful sites, mm -hmm. such as uh, Prague's castle, uh, where Václav Havel uh, was uh, working as president of the Czechoslovakia and Czech Republic. And of course, we will also explore the Jewish part of the city, the Jewish inheritance, which is extremely powerful and important for understanding Václav Havel and his writings, because he was very much inspired by wonderful author Franz Kafka. Oh, wow. Definitely sounds exciting and interesting. So um, what are you hoping for the students to walk away from this course and also from studying in Prague? Of course, uh, they will be doing lots of readings, not only plays, by, but also philosophical essays. Uh, they will be doing research. They will be performing the plays. They will be visiting all kinds of incredible sites. Actually, one of our trips was also to concentration camp, and we had some students with a Jewish background, and it was extremely powerful for us to understand the life under Nazism and the life under communism. 
students will also view documentary films in the classroom or for that matter full length film there will be a lot of wonderful discussions and answers will be given to the students not only by me but by people such as former ambassador to United States Michal Jantovsky who would be giving lecture at the Havel Library as he did last year. So the students will have opportunity to meet wonderful scholars back in Europe. Oh wow, that really does sound like a great opportunity. Um, so what would you say to students, or are you hoping for the students to take what they've learned there and bring it back to the United States? Of course, mm -hmm. and I believe that every student from the United States should have the experience to travel abroad, to travel to Europe and to travel to this beautiful city, which is so cultural, mm -hmm. and uh, there is so much culture there, mm -hmm. you know, and so much history, of course. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to encourage students who might think that they don't have a connection to Europe? What would you do to, or what would you say to encourage them to look into this program? You have some expectations mm -hmm. when you decide to join, but when the course happens really, Mm -hmm. and you are in this beautiful city which is like walking in a fairy tale mm -hmm. and you learn uh, so much history and you go to castle and then you go also to places where Václav Havel was interrogated and mm -hmm. you start to understand the paranoia and the fear uh, the dissidents would be living under communism that's something you really cannot learn anywhere but at the very place. Mm -hmm. So I simply think that it's something uh, which is extremely enriching and empowering, mm -hmm. you know, and reading Havel's essay, The Power of the Powerless, mm -hmm. certainly will give you courage to use theater as a tool to better this world. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a terrific program and I really think it's an awesome opportunity for our students and um, Thank you so much for being here this afternoon. Thank you so much. Okay. It's my pleasure.